subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel iphone 7 versus iphone 10s i've been wanting to do this full comparison for a while because this one is the cheapest iPhone entry available, and this is your standard $1,000 iPhone, the iPhone XS. I have the basic 64 gig model here, no high storage capacity. It goes up from there, and in different countries, the iPhone XS could even start at over $1,200, like Vancouver, for example. Now, the iPhone 7, though, is going to be a still a really good phone that runs iOS 12. I want to begin by talking about their design. Let's start with the iPhone 7. We have a matte black color here. They have multiple colors. This one does have a nice aluminum build on the back. Feels very similar to what you'll feel on a MacBook Pro, for example. It does have a slight camera bump, very thin and very light. This was the first iPhone to get rid of that headphone jack. That's pretty standard across iPhones now. You don't really see headphone jacks on any iPhone anymore, so get used to it. You do have your Touch ID, rather chunky bezels, but a super light device. This is a super comfortable one-handed phone. Love the 7 for its light weight. Now, coming over to the 10s, this one is significantly heavier, so you definitely will feel the difference in the weight if you do decide to come over to the iPhone 10s. And this one also has stainless steel along the edges, which gives it a much more premium feel, I think, overall. So if you want a more premium feel, the iPhone tennis is the way to go, but it's also more fragile than the iPhone 7, which means that if you do drop it, the likelihood of you cracking the display on the rear is high compared to maybe just dinging up your aluminum. So there is benefits to the iPhone 7. It just looks a little bit older. And I think if you're looking for the flashiest design, go with the 10s. But if you don't care about that, you still will like the many color options and the cheaper price and still feeling lightweight and still premium on the iPhone 7. Their build quality is both pretty strong. I feel like the iPhone XS feels more substantial in the hand. I still think you gotta protect it with a case and it's more likely that if you do drop them, it's gonna be more to repair an iPhone XS than an iPhone 7, which is much easier to repair than this device. And this one does give you IP68, so the 10s is much more water resistant than the IP67 in the iPhone 7. Moving on to their displays, the iPhone 7 does give you a P3 16 by 9 LCD panel, 326 pixels per inch retina display. Now this one is very good, I think. I just don't think it's super high resolution, but it was very well calibrated and a screen size this small, I don't really care that it wasn't you know super high res if you wanted a higher res just get the iphone 7 plus that had the 1080p panel now this display though does have quite a bit of content it can show even though it's only 4.7 inches because of its 16 by 9 aspect ratio so it's a sizable display it's not too small and i don't think it's too big it might be just right for most people now we're coming to the age of bigger screens here with the display on the iphone 10s you will come over to an oled display 5.8 inches manufactured by samsung giving you higher contrast ratio very similarly calibrated to the iphone 7 but your blacks are much deeper on the iPhone XS, and it's a much more premium display for 2018, but some people still probably like LCD, and I don't think that unless you're a display snob, either one will disappoint you. The iPhone XS is just a better display. You get less bezel, and there's barely any chin here on the iPhone XS. You do get the notch, but it does have an important feature, Face ID for secure biometrics, and almost all screen design. Over here, you do have bezels, but I like the zoom mode you can do on the iPhone 7. It makes the icon super huge. That was a pretty cool feature that you don't get on the iPhone 10s. You can see right there, boom, there's the icons. They get really large there for the iPhone 7. At the end of the day, I think that if you watch videos a lot, you might still like how the iPhone 7 shows them in the standard aspect ratio. I think if you do a lot of things one hand in portrait, you scroll a lot, like you do like a lot of reading on your phone or a lot of social media and you just wanna scroll, the longer, taller display on the iPhone XS shows more content, so it just feels like a more enjoyable experience on, on said device. So it just feels like a more enjoyable experience to use because it just shows more on a taller. So stuff like this, timeline stuff like this, you'll really like the 10s. So when it comes to watching videos on the 10s, when you pinch in, it can show the notch like this. So if you're watching a video where the content stretches all the way over here, it does cut off a little bit, but the actual quality of the video itself is actually more punchy. So it's kind of mixed here. You get the standard aspect ratio, but you get a better quality video for the iPhone 10s. 
software. They both run iOS 12 and they both run them very smooth. Check out my speed test between these two to see how fast that software runs on these devices. Both did very well. The iPhone 7, pretty impressive. I'll link it down below. But all I gotta say is that unless you're doing heavy, heavy stuff, then you probably would be fine with either of these. And even the iPhone 7 can handle heavy stuff. So performance has kind of hit a plateau where on phones, it doesn't really make that much of a difference unless you're gonna keep this phone like six years. Then you definitely want the iPhone XS because it will outlast the 7 in terms of longevity with that processor. iOS 12 just cleans up iOS 11, gives you screen time options, gives you a few more features with Siri, Siri shortcuts, and it's just a lot more stable than before. So you got an emoji, Memoji on, on the iPhone XS series. That's something you won't get on the seven that comes through the face ID. That's basically where you can track your face and make like little emojis with your face. So that's an upgrade that you'll get on the XS. I think when it comes to software, the biggest difference will be, do you wanna use the classic home button iOS or do you wanna use the new gesture based OS on the iPhone XS? That's the big difference using these gestures versus using the home button here when it comes to iOS on both of these. Other than that, it's about the same. Some applications aren't optimized well for the iPhone XS, so they actually have more optimized apps for the iPhone 7. So if you're looking for that, the 7 will be the better option. So concluding software, I give it to the XS just because it's gonna be what the future of Apple apps are gonna be optimized for and everything like that. But as it stands right now, everything runs about the same on the iPhone 7. So software is almost a draw. Now, when it comes to their cameras, the iPhone experience shooting on both of these, if you are upgrading, you're going to be right at home. It's about the same setup and everything. You just got portrait mode here, which can blur the background. You can change the blur after the fact, and you do get 4K 60. I don't really want to talk too much about the camera. It's a basic setup. Just take a look at these side-by-side -side comparisons and let me know if you think it's a big improvement coming from the 7 to the iPhone XS. One area that does have a big upgrade is the storage. You can get this in 512 gigs. That's 256 gigabytes more than the maxed out 256 gigabyte iPhone 7. Although 256 gigabyte is probably enough and you could get the iPhone 7 in 128, an option that's not available anymore for the iPhone XS. In terms of security, Face ID is more secure than Touch ID. So it's technically a more secure phone on the iPhone XS, but they're both running iOS, which is a secure software. So you got pretty good security on both. I think you just got a slight edge on the iPhone XS because of Face ID. And that comes to unlocking your device. It's more likely somebody can trick Touch ID versus Face ID. In terms of audio, are you upgrading from the iPhone 7 to the XS? And the answer is absolutely. The audio just sounds so much louder here for the iPhone XS, like way louder. So if you did like let me go turn it up real quick. If you did like the iPhone 7 speakers, you'll like the 10s's even more. If you're trying to decide between these two and you really want good external audio, the 10s is a clear win. In terms of their phone call quality, I found the 7 to drop less calls and the connectivity to be a little bit worse, actually, in my experience so far with the 10s, So for me, I'm giving the 7 the better phone call quality as a phone. So in conclusion, iPhone 7 versus iPhone 10s it's gonna depend on your needs and your preferences, but I can put it this way. The iPhone 7 is the better value phone, bang for buck device. The iPhone 10s is the more premium, the better device here, but you're gonna pay to get onto this phone. An average user, I think, could easily be happy with an iPhone 7, even buying it today. Person who wants to be on the cutting edge of smartphone definitely will not like the 7. They will want the iPhone 10s. Resale value will be significantly higher for the iPhone 10s due to its construction being stainless steel, glass in the front and the back. It's a more premium build device. If the iPhone 10s costs more to make than the iPhone 10s, it will hold its value better longer, meaning you'll be able to sell it for more more when you do go to sell it. The iPhone XS will game significantly better than the 7 and it will do things like iMovie rendering and you know just things that require that processor to really push it to the max. This is the phone you're going to want. Anyway, that's it for me. iPhone 7 versus iPhone XS. Let me know your thoughts. Are you picking up a 7? Are you picking up a 10S? Do you have a 7? Did you upgrade? Please share your experience.